Sir, given the background of expertise of Austria in the field of agriculture, green and clean technology, inland waterways, and uh, other things also, how do you see Austria participating in our Prime Minister Narendra Modi's famous policy that is Make in India campaign in the field of cleaning Ganga, having some clean technology applicable to uh, renewable energy, in the field of Swachh Bharat, clean Bharat Abhiyan also. How do you look at that? We look at it very positively. Austrian companies look at it very positively because, as you rightly pointed out, uh, these are fields where we have a lot of technology yeah. and expertise, and uh, it's tested yeah. technology. Because um, you were talking about the Clean Ganga mm. initiative. Mm. Now, the Danube, mm. which through, flows through Austria, is our kind of central river, yeah. which has a similar even spiritual and okay. cultural importance okay. to Austria as, as the Ganga has uh, to India. And it was a dead river 30 years ago. Okay. It was polluted and dirty and okay. horrible right, from its source to its uh, um, end in the Black Sea in Romania. And we managed together, all countries along the Danube mm -hmm. uh, River, to okay. clean it up political effort, it's a technological effort, and it's uh, an effort of all those who live around, along the river. Okay. And uh, we are more than happy to share our experiences and, uh, and our positive experiences, because now you have fish in the Danube again that you can actually okay. eat without getting sick. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and, and things like that, uh, we are, we're more than willing to share. Clean and green technology mm. is not only a question of good relations mm. and uh, good business, mm. it is a question of survival True. of humanity. True. And uh, therefore, I think we are uh, eager to cooperate with India. India has the fantastic chance to not make a few mistakes that other countries okay. have made on their development path. And uh, I think we are all here to help with the technology, to okay. help with the adaptation of the technology to the Indian needs. And, uh, and, and a lot of Austrian companies in this field are already here, okay. are already making in India, okay. and I hope there will be more to come. Okay. And then, sir, what about uh, your expertise? I mean, you have so many smart cities also. You have very well-managed cities in your country. India has come up with the establishment of 79 smart cities. How do you look at this opportunity? I mean, will your country be interested to participate in such ventures in India? Definitely, we are interested in participating. We will have an event in Bengaluru in October, where one of our smart city experts will give a talk. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some cooperation with Mumbai on that issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, because our particular take on mm -hmm. smart cities is actually how do you organize the city and the transport and okay. traffic in a city so it becomes smart. How do you integrate in the city? Integrate public transport and yeah. individual transport and uh, bicycles and walking yeah. and but you have to create the infrastructure for that you have to organize the city accordingly so then you save energy you save time mm -hmm. and you create a city which is more livable mm -hmm. so so these are things that uh, we are working uh, on and that we are working with uh, some Indian cities. The other part is waste water treatment and then waste management in general, where we have a few technologies which are working well. And uh, if you come to Vienna mm -hmm. and see a beautiful, it almost looks like a column, but mm -hmm. it actually is a chimney of uh, waste incineration. Okay. Uh, work in the middle of the city, okay. which would be banned normally because of the risk of, uh, of uh, pollution, but it is almost pollution free. Incineration plant. It's a, it's a waste incineration plant and all the warm water and heating Fantastic. in Vienna is produced with this Fantastic. waste incineration. Mm -hmm. So these are things that, uh, that we try to 
to cooperate on also in, in India. It is costly sometimes, it takes time to create the infrastructure, but it's worth the, worth the while. Sir, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he is investing in his personal diplomacy and he, is, he has uh, left his personal imprint in how India's diplomacy is carried out nowadays. Now he is going places, he is going to so many countries. So in that con context, would your country, would you like to him to visit Austria in the near future? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I think uh, the Prime Minister Modi is doing an excellent job in putting India back on the map and in creating an image of India okay. abroad, uh, which is positive, which is dynamic, uh, yeah. and, uh, and uh, which, which uh, really changes yeah. the attitude yeah. of, uh, of many people towards this country and then positively influences them. I'm not in a position to invite the Prime Minister, that mm. my Prime Minister has to do that. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, but I'm sure that he would uh, welcome him with great fanfare and show him all the beautiful things that we have in Austria, all the high-tech ventures that we have in Austria and that could inspire both of them. So thank you very much Mr. Ambassador for being with us. This is B.N. Jha in Austrian Embassy for diplomacyindia.com